Neptune, the eighth planet from our sun, is a mysterious blue giant shrouded in secrets and wonders. It lies far beyond Saturn, in the cold, dark depths of our solar system, where sunlight barely reaches. So distant is this ice giant that it takes light from the sun over four hours to reach its surface, a journey of immense distance. Neptune's blue color is striking and mesmerizing, a deep azure that captivates the eye. It's a result of methane in its atmosphere, which absorbs red light and reflects blue light, creating its unique appearance. This gives Neptune its distinctive hue and sets it apart from the other gas giants in our solar system, like Jupiter and Saturn. Neptune is a key part of our solar system structure, playing a crucial role in its balance. Its gravitational influence affects the orbits of smaller objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy bodies beyond Neptune shaping their paths. Studying Neptune helps us understand the dynamics of our solar system and its formation billions of years ago, offering insights into the past and future of our cosmic neighborhood. Neptune's discovery is a testament to the power of human intellect. Unlike planets visible to the naked eye, Neptune was found through mathematical prediction rather than direct observation. In the 1840s, astronomers noticed irregularities in Uranus's orbit. They suspected an unseen planet's gravity was affecting Uranus's path. Independently, Urbain Le Verrier in France and John Couch Adams in England used mathematics to predict the existence and location of this unknown world. In 1846, based on Le Verrier's calculations, Johann Galler at the Berlin Observatory pointed a telescope at the predicted location and found Neptune. It was a triumph of science, confirming the predictive power of physics and our understanding of gravity. Neptune's atmosphere is a swirling dynamic environment. Composed primarily of hydrogen and helium, it also contains traces of methane and other gases. These trace elements give Neptune its striking blue color and contribute to its active weather patterns. Unlike Earth's solid surface, Neptune's atmosphere gradually transitions into a slushy interior. There's no clear boundary between its gaseous outer layers and its icy interior. This makes Neptune a fascinating subject for scientists studying the behavior of matter under extreme pressure and temperature. One of the most striking features of Neptune's atmosphere is its powerful winds. These winds can reach speeds of over 1,200 miles per hour, the fastest known in our solar system. These supersonic winds whip around Neptune, creating giant storms and intricate cloud formations. In 1989, Voyager 2 discovered a massive storm system in Neptune's southern hemisphere. This storm, dubbed the Great Dark Spot, was similar in size to Earth and raged for several years. It was characterized by its dark color, oval shape, and swirling winds. The Great Dark Spot, like Jupiter's Great Red Spot, was an anticyclonic storm. This means that winds spiraled outward from a high pressure center. The exact mechanisms driving these massive storms on Neptune remain a subject of scientific investigation. Interestingly, when the Hubble Space Telescope observed Neptune in 1994, the great dark spot had vanished. This disappearance highlighted the dynamic and ever-changing nature of Neptune's atmosphere. New storms and atmospheric features continue to appear and disappear over time. Neptune, like Earth, possesses a magnetic field. This magnetic field is generated by the movement of electrically conductive fluids deep within the planet. However, Neptune's magnetic field is unusual in its orientation and behavior. Unlike Earth's magnetic field, which is roughly aligned with its axis of rotation, Neptune's magnetic field is tilted significantly. It's also offset from the planet's center. This unusual configuration suggests a complex and dynamic internal structure. Neptune's magnetic field interacts with the solar wind, a stream of charged particles constantly flowing from the sun. 
This interaction creates auroras, similar to the northern and southern lights on Earth. These auroras on Neptune are thought to be incredibly powerful and spectacular. Section 6. Rings of Ice and Dust While not as prominent or well-defined as Saturn's rings, Neptune does possess a system of faint rings. These rings are made up of dust and ice particles, likely the remnants of comets, asteroids, or shattered moons. Neptune's rings are clumpy and uneven in their distribution. This clumpiness suggests that they are relatively young and constantly being replenished by material from collisions in the Neptunian system. The study of Neptune's rings provides valuable insights into the planet's history and the dynamics of its gravitational influence on surrounding objects. Further observations and missions could reveal more about the composition and origin of these enigmatic rings. Section 7 Triton, a moon with a retrograde orbit. Neptune has 14 known moons, but Triton stands out as the most intriguing of them all. It's the largest of Neptune's moons and one of the most unusual moons in our entire solar system. Triton's most striking characteristic is its retrograde orbit, which is quite rare. Unlike most large moons in our solar system, which orbit their planets in the same direction as the planet's rotation, Triton orbits Neptune in the opposite direction, making it unique. This retrograde orbit suggests that Triton may not have formed around Neptune, but was captured by its gravity. Instead, it's likely a captured object perhaps originating from the distant Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune filled with icy bodies. Triton is a fascinating world of ice and rock with a surface that tells a story of its own. Its surface is covered in nitrogen, methane and carbon dioxide ices, creating a frigid and alien landscape. Voyager 2 observed geysers erupting from Triton's surface spewing nitrogen gas and dark particles into space, a truly remarkable sight. These geysers hint at a surprisingly active world beneath Triton's icy crust, suggesting that there may be more to discover about this enigmatic moon. Section 8. Voyager 2's Encounter with Neptune In 1989, after a 12-year journey across our solar system, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft made its closest approach to Neptune. This flyby revolutionized our understanding of this distant ice giant and its moons. Voyager 2 captured stunning images of Neptune's blue atmosphere, revealing its swirling clouds, massive storms, and faint rings. It also sent back detailed data about Neptune's magnetic field, temperature, and atmospheric composition. The Voyager 2 flyby of Neptune marked the end of an era in planetary exploration. It was the first, and so far, the only spacecraft to visit this distant world. The data and images it sent back continue to shape our understanding of the outer solar system. Section 9. Unlocking Neptune's Secrets. Future Exploration. While Voyager 2's flyby of Neptune was a monumental achievement, it only provided a glimpse of this enigmatic world, leaving us with more questions than answers. Many mysteries about Neptune remain, waiting to be unraveled, from its dynamic atmosphere to its deep, hidden core. Future missions could answer key questions about its atmosphere, internal structure, and moons, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of the outer solar system. A dedicated orbiter mission to Neptune would allow scientists to study its weather patterns, magnetic field, and ring system in detail over an extended period, providing invaluable data. A lander mission to Triton could investigate its surface composition, search for signs of past or present life, and explore its subsurface ocean, offering clues about habitability. Exploring Neptune is not just about understanding one planet. It's about expanding our knowledge of the cosmos. It's about unraveling the secrets of ice giants, a class of planets that are common in our galaxy, yet still largely mysterious to us. 
By studying Neptune, we gain insights into the formation and evolution of planetary systems beyond our own, shedding light on the processes that shape the universe. So, let's keep looking up, keep exploring, and keep unlocking the secrets of our vast and wondrous universe, one mission at a time.